What's going on, guys? This is part two of the fundamentals of scripting. Lua scripting, I should say. And we're going to be learning about variables right now. So, let's get started with variables like x equals 10. Okay? So, x equals 10. We'll print x. And it prints 10 for us. Uh, word equals hello print word and prints hello needs quotes because if it doesn't have quotes it thinks that it's a number if it's not a number it's not it's going to be confused if you print hello without quotes it doesn't exist because it's looking for a variable and the variable does not exist because hello can be a variable so that's why it needs quotes uh let's see what else we got n equals 12 print n 12 and equals 24 print n 24 because it overwrites it n equals 78 x equals n print x since x is equal to n and n is equal to 78 it's printing 78 this is a lot like algebra I'm actually in algebra 1 right now still learning but these are the basics that we've already gone through this stuff we work on equ we're past equations and all that stuff, so I know the basics of algebra and probably more. So this is easy for me. Those of you that are younger than me and probably don't know algebra, this is how you learn algebra. And it might be a little confusing at first, but if you focus and look at it, you probably get it. Okay, so this is explaining, I don't need to type all this. This is explaining what is valid and what is not. Letters equals quote ABC, end quote. That is valid. X86 equals 1978. That is valid because it started with an X and didn't just start with numbers. Var um, underscore name equals variable is valid. Underscore equals blank, which is valid because you can just have underscores. It's fine. If equals 12 is not valid because I actually said in the previous tutorial it cannot be if uh, anything that's blue. Did I say that in the previous tutorial? I don't even know. I don't think I did. But uh, if equals 12 is not valid, 16th equals Lincoln is not valid because it just doesn't work because it starts with a number. It cannot start with a number. It can start with a letter and then any numbers you want to, but it cannot start with a number itself. It can start with a uh, underscore as well, not just letters. Okay. So this is kind of cool. A comma B comma C equals 1 comma 2 comma 3. Sounds like a stupid song or something. Print A. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Just put that. Print A. Print 1 because it's in the exact order. Print C is 3. Print C, A, B. Whoops, whoops. B, not V. Okay. 3, 1, 2. Because it does it in the same order. <sighs> Swapping. Let's see. X, comma, Y equals... 8, 36, print x, y, 8, 36, x, y equals y, x, print x, y, so I just swapped it, that's kind of cool actually, uh, let's see what else, variable scopes, this is something interesting, that I wondered a while ago, and I didn't understand. Uh, and eventually I got actually figured out because of this uh, nice wiki, Wikipedia. Alright, so it actually talks about local variables. Global variables are different. Global variables, you can say uh, A equals 1, and then if true, then print a if true then a equals 2 print a and print a and print a what that does is it does uh, a equals 1 right so then a print a that's 1 and a equals 2 print a that's 2 then it 
print A, print A, it's all two. But what if we have everything, whoops, okay. What if we do A equals one, and then print A, and then local A equals two. That does one, two, one, one. Why? I'm going to show you in a script. So let's copy this. Let's copy this. There we go. <laughs> uh, look what we got here. We got A equals 1. So, if we put local A equals 2, that means that it only happens in this branch, is what you call it, I think. So, when you print A there, it only prints to there because it's in this if statement. It, when it ends, it's over. Uh, so that's what that means. That's what local does. If you put local world equals hello, wow, these examples are weird. Then uh, if true, then local b. Let's uh, do uh, print word. Hello, that works. If true, then print word and hello. That works because local was outside of it. If it's inside of it, it won't come outside of it, I guess. Outside of the branch. <sighs> what else we got? Uh, if true, then local b equals 2. And print b. Wait, what? There we go. <laughs> B was already uh, there, so it was confused at that, that it was something else, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. So if you uh, end this, let's look at this in the uh, an actual script again. It's in here, right? It's in this if statement. Local is in the if statement. So then all of a sudden, if it's out of the if statement and it's trying to find it, it ends up being nil. So that's that. Uh, that works, because it's outside of it and then it can go inside of it. Because it's like a, if the world is local and then you're trying to uh, find something that's uh, in the world, but it's local, I guess, and then... Uh, in the United States, you're trying to find in the United States, you can find it because it has access to the world. But if you're in Russia and you're trying, uh, these are just random examples. If you're in Russia and you're trying to find something that's in the United States, it won't work. So, there you go. Or if you're in, a, if you're in like, Russia and you're trying to find something in the world, it will not work. Well, that will work, won't it? I'm confusing myself. Uh, I'm confused. Let's pause. Okay, I figured it out. So if you're in Russia and you're trying to find something in the United States that's local, you can't find it. If you're in the world and you're trying to find something in the United States that you cannot find, it, it won't work because you have to be in the United States to find it in the United States. So that's it right there. I was a little confused, but I figured it out. Let's see what this says. The variable has the same name as one of those outer space. The outer space's value is overwritten in the inner scope, but not in the outer scope. So I already mentioned that. I showed you that. So there you go. We got time left. Let's see if uh, I can. I think I've met, I've made a tutorial on if, didn't I? I guess I might as well go through this, though. I'll put this in part three, because we're running out of time here, but not really, but I probably can't explain all this in five minutes. So we're going to end it. We'll go to part three. And uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.